Hi there Star Wars collectors and welcome to another Bosk's Bounty video and in this video we're going to be discussing the recent image that surfaced of the Mandalorian retro collection wave which includes the Mandalorian, Moff Gideon, Grief Karga, IG-11, Queel, The Child and Cara Dune which some people said may get cancelled but this is confirmation that it will not be cancelled this image here comes from a Canadian retailer, I think, called Kaya Boutique. I first saw the image from Yakface on his Instagram, and it is very interesting indeed. And I just wanted to give you my opinion and thoughts on the wave and the image that we have here. So, of course, towards the end of last year, can't really remember exactly when it was, but Hasbro announced that they were going to be doing a retro collection of the Mandalorian figures and they gave us these images here that I'm showing you of the figures but we never actually saw the card backs well today we actually can see the card backs now and some of them are using the same card backs that we saw in the vintage collection in terms of the Mandalorian, Cara Dune, Moff Gideon and Grief Karga the child one is different but then again they do have to incorporate a lot more and man, does it look weird. That bubble on the child there, it's got like a split double bubble, one for the little crib and one for the figure and the frog and what looks like a little sort of mound of dirt that he can, or a rock or something, which I personally don't think is necessary really. You could have got away with not including that and the bubble then would be smaller, but I guess you can't really moan at them giving you more. We can see that they do have the Retro Collection sticker on, which was a given really, obviously, because that is the branding for the Retro Collection. Something that I'm not a massive fan of. And we can see that the distressed look around the cards has been kept as well. And looking at the images of these ones, they all look to have almost the same distressed look. Very, very similar. With the Empire Strikes Back ones, they mixed them up a little bit, so each card had, had a like a different distressed look. These look very similar each one the, the top left hand corner of each card certainly looks uh, almost identical so that's something to keep an eye on when you get them in hand but really what this video is mainly about is the fact that the Kara Dune figure is included in the wave and basically this is going to be the last chance that we're going to have to get a Kara Dune figure obviously she has been cancelled or sacked by Lucasfilm and although some of the vintage collection ones are beginning to ship from people that pre-ordered them, they will not be making any more. But what you can guarantee from the retro collection figures is that if they do decide to make another batch of them, if the demand is so high that they have to make a load more, I very much doubt that they'll be making the Cara Dune figure. So you will probably want to snap her up if you haven't already. If you haven't pre-ordered this wave, you can do so on Entertainment Earth. My affiliate link is in the description below. I pre-ordered this wave when they were first announced last year. And I think the release date is still the same of May. Although this uh, retailer seems to have them in hand, they'll probably be starting to show up in, in various <laughs> retailers in the US and Canada, I guess, at first, but in the UK, they're still set for a May release. Regarding the other card backs, obviously I mentioned the child there with the weird bubbles, but we also get the Queel card back, which is the first time we've seen the card back for that one. That is in no doubt that they'll probably use that same one for the vintage collection, and I'm very glad, because that is the image that I think of when I think of Queel, and I'm glad that they have used that image. Many customizers that have you know, created mock-up card images have used that image of Queel, so it's a good image, and I'm glad they're going with that one. IG-11, of course, we know he is coming out in the Vintage Collection, but we haven't as of yet seen the card back. This is probably what the card back is going to be like, although most of it is hidden by the Retro Collection sticker, which is, yeah, obviously that will not be a problem with the Vintage Collection versions. You can see the Grief Cargo on there. That is the image of the most recent Grief Cargo from the most recent wave, which I've recently done reviews on, so make sure you check out those videos. But yeah, it was just interesting to see this image last night on Instagram, and I thought I'd make a video about it. And just to let you know that obviously the Cara Dune has not been cancelled like some people thought it might have done. We are getting her in the retro collection. But this will be your last ever opportunity to get a figure based on Cara Dune 
or Gina Carano, whichever one you want to say, uh, because she has been sacked from Lucasfilm. But at least we're getting in the retro collection. There she is. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. I do appreciate you watching this video. Drop a like down below if you've enjoyed it. And we shall see you on the next one.